Today, I'm feeling inspired by this guy. Wiley Post. Wiley was the first person to fly around the world in 1933. It took him seven days to make the trip. But hey, it's 2016, and I wonder if we can make a trip around the world in an eight minute, 41 second video. Here we're gonna discover what people all around the globe do to keep their houses tidy. There might be a tip in there that you or I could use. Cause hey, dirt, it's the universal language. Come on. The first place we're headed is to the wondrous land of Africa. I want you all to meet my friend Asia. She comes from Rwanda and she has an amazing way of using an African broom. Let's watch. All right, Asia, so tell me what they do in Rwanda to keep their houses clean. What they are doing in Rwanda to keep their house clean, they are brooming every day, every morning because there is not enough uh, electricity to make their house to have AC inside. So they have to open the windows in the morning. So that means the air coming from outside will be bringing some dairy from in outside. So they have to clean up every morning. Yeah. And you use a special kind of room, right? Yeah. So tell me about this room that you have. So this is a kind of broom we use, which is different from the one you use here in the USA because you have to hold it and then use it by brooming all the time. You want to broom the house all over where you need to broom and then you will take away what the dirty stuff you broomed and then that's it. This is what we use as a broom. Okay, can you show me how to use it? Yeah. As you can tell, Asia's broom is made of natural materials. Word on the street is that synthetic bristles don't last as long, produce static, and are not environmentally friendly. Here in the Midwest, natural broom bristles are made of corn fiber. Thanks for sharing, Asia. Our next destination is the beautiful land of Asia. Ah, I can already feel the zen. The forests in China produce the most bamboo in the world. Bamboo has been used for thousands of years for everything from paper to medicine. Well, it turns out this amazing plant can also be used for cleaning. Here in Minnesota, we love great food. After a rousing game of hockey and duck duck gray duck, we love to settle in with a good plate of hot dish and a cold can of pop, don't you know? Wait, where am I going with this? Anyway, where can the Minnesotan and the Asian culture meet? With this, it's a bamboo scrubber. Let me show you how it works. A bamboo scrubber is used to scrub and scrape off all kinds of gunked on food. Here, I have a cookie sheet with a little baked on cookie dough. and a frying pan with sticky eggs. What are the benefits of a bamboo scrubber? Well, there's no scratching of your pans, no need to pre-soak, and there's no food that gets stuck in your sponge. They rinse clean with water, air dry, and is it just me or does this thing look kind of cute sitting here? Now you all know I'm not big time enough to get paid to sponsor a product. But if you're interested in buying one of these bamboo scrubbers, I have put the link in the description box below where you can pick up a good one if you want. Sai Chen. Next up is a voyage to Mexico. Time to get in touch with my Latin roots. Wait, I don't have any Latin roots. But that's okay because my cousin-in-law Lupita told me that I could be an honorary Mexican for the day. So Lupita, tell me about some of the things people do in Mexico to keep their homes nice and clean. Well, we do a lot of stuff, but what we mostly use is the Clorox and the peanuts. 
Um, that one is more common because usually it, it keep you uh, your floors clean and shine, but they keep the bites away from you. I mean, uh, like um, anything that you think that is affecting to your family, like uh, bad like feelings or something like that, it's apparently clean that too and stay away from your house. So you have to throw the water outside of your door and that will keep it away from you. That yeah. sounds so cool. Oh, I'm. Can you show me? Yeah, of because, course. Yeah, because um, I definitely have some bad vibes in my house that have got to go. That have to be helped. <laughs> so let's yeah. do it. Let's go. Note that Lupita is only pouring in a splash of Clorox. Be careful with bleach as it can remove the color from fabrics. As it turns out, Pinol is the Mexican brand of pine salt. Both list pine essential oil as the main ingredient. Pine oil and bleach are both triple threats, meaning that they are antifungal, antibacterial, and antiviral. And amazingly, it's also anti-evil spirit. Evil spirits are so rude. If they're gonna invade your home, they should at least pay rent. Time to give them the boot, Mexican style. And that's a small victory we can all celebrate. Oh, Lupita, having the Clorox and the Pinal mixed together smells so fresh and clean, and your floors look really nice now. And my spirit feels so much lighter now. Mm -hmm. I can definitely tell. I think we got a lot of bad, bad vibes and spirits out of your house. I hope so too. <laughs> and I'm gonna be on my way home and try it in my own house. That will work. Our next and final nation is back to the Asian continent, but now we're making a stop in the vast expanse that is Russia. And you all get to regress to kindergarten circle time for a little story. All right, class, settle down, settle down. Today, we're going to be reading the legend of the babushka. Babushka literally means grandmother in Russian. As legend has it, Babushka lives on her own in a cottage where everything is neat as a pin, but she's so busy cleaning and polishing that she hardly notices the miraculous events going on around her. Then a mysterious dream leads her to put her daily worries aside and venture out to find a special baby. On her journey, she learns that the more you give away in love, the more you will receive. The moral of the story is, don't spend so much time keeping your home magazine perfect. Take time to enjoy the important things in life. Family, friends, acting silly, kindness, and most importantly, cats. Well, my peaches, here we are again back home. I hope you enjoyed our little trip around the world. I would like to thank our amazing guests, Asya and Lupita, for sharing their culture and cleaning methods with us. Can you think of any ways that people from your background have shaked and shimmied their way to a cleaner home? If so, share them with the whole class in the comment section below. And while you're at it, why not subscribe so you can get the latest news on all things both clean and cruddy. Thanks for watching everyone and until next time, keep it real and stay true to yourself.